Hey, how's it going? You want to check out that new motor? Alright, let me grab Dan. Hey, what's up? Hey, uh, I got someone here to check out that new read. Alright, dude, I'm on my way up. Alright. Hey, what's going on? Want to check out that motor? Come on, let's go in the back. Hey, hey check it out, check it out. It's a 29.5 recase methanol engine. This thing's pretty sick. It's got the OBR TR recases on it. Pretty bitchin'. Uh, we use Boysen Reed pedals inside the reed cage, which, which uh, helps out quite a bit. We use the NOAA top ends, best quality in cylinders around. So yeah, that's the 29.5 methanol engine. You guys are pretty lucky to see this stuff, bro. Dude, what the fuck is that? This is a king crank, bro. Where'd you get this? That came out of that rebuild I was doing uh, for customer. It looks a lot like a CY, but it's not. I happen to have a CY right here. If you notice, the finish is a lot different, huh? It looks like it's actually welded on. Oh, wow. Who knows what this is? Well, yeah, let me... Let me get this for my rebuild and uh, let me file that. Alright, why don't you show them what a real motor runs like. Check it out. Here's some clips of the methanol engine. I've been building methanol motors for a long time, but this, was, uh, this is definitely the best one to come up with. The difference between gas and methanol would have to, you know, obviously be the octane. Um, you have to run higher compression with methanol, but what you're seeing is almost about 30% gain. So it was kind of a no-brainer for us to do a methanol engine. Being the methanol motor, it produces a lot more torque, a lot more mid-range, revs a little higher. And if you run it side by side with one of our gas motors, it's going to outrun it. talking hours and tank after tank of solid running hard. We want to put the motor through absolute hell because we want to make sure if it holds up to our standards, it's definitely going to hold up to yours.